Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will be looking at one more numerical based on linearity of the system. So basically, you have to check whether the following system is linear or not. So the system equation is given as y of n is equal to x of n minus 2 into x of n minus 1. Okay, so this is the equation which is given to us and we have to check whether the system is linear or not. Clear? So basically, let h be the system represented by the equation y of n is equal to x of n minus 2 into x of n minus 1. Fine. So in general, if you apply x of n to a system h then you will get y of n as a output right which is basically what transform of x of n and here y of n is equal to what so x of n minus 2 into x of n minus 1 so this will become equal to what x of n minus 2 into x of n minus 1. Fine. Hope this much is clear to you. Right. Now consider two signals x1 of n and x2 of n. So when you apply x1 of n to the same system h then what will be the output y1 of n which is nothing but transform of x1 of n right and this is equal to what so x1 of n minus 2 into x1 of n minus 1 am i right now if you apply x2 of n to this system then it will become what means output will be y2 of n which is basically transform of x2 of n right so this will be equal to what x2 of n minus 2 into x2 of n minus 1 right so basically this y1 of n and y2 of n are the response of the system h for the input x1 of n and x2 of n this much is clear fine now you have to calculate what you have to calculate a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n right so let's calculate this so a1 into y1 of n so y1 of n is this into a1 so it will become a1 into x1 of n minus minus what a1 into 2 x1 of n minus 1 okay plus a2 into y2 of n it means what a2 into x2 of n minus a2 into 2x2 of n minus 1 so remember this okay now let's move further now consider the linear combination of inputs now we are going to apply the linear con uh, combination of input to the same system h and we'll see the response so consider a linear combination of inputs a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n is equal to x3 of n and let y3 of n is what response for x3 of n it means when you apply x3 of n as an input to this system you will get what y3 of n which is basically nothing but transform of x3 of n am i right now it means what it means if this is equal to x3 of n 
माइनस टू इंटू एक्स थ्री ऑफ एन माइनस वन होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू राइट सो नाउ वॉट यू हैव टू डू सिंपली यू बेटर नो वॉट इज एक्स थ्री एक्स थ्री इज वॉट दिस सो जस्ट रिप्लेस दिस नाउ हेयर इज द कैलकुलेशन सो इफ यू सी y3 of n this will be equal to what x3 of n so x3 of n means what simple this one a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n am i right now this minus 2 minus 2 now x3 of n minus 1 x3 of n minus 1 is equal to what simple a1 into x1 of n minus 1 plus a2 into x2 of n minus 1 okay now open this so y3 of n is equal to what here see a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n minus a1 into 2 x1 of n minus 1 minus a2 into 2 x2 of n minus 1 clear now this is what equation number 2 and this is what basically equation number 1 now you have to compare equation number 1 with equation number 2 fine so that is the linearity condition so if y3 of n is equal to a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n then we can say the system is linear and if you compare equation 1 and 2 it is same expression so here this is equal to this it means what we can say like the system is what system is a linear system system is a linear system hope this much is clear to you so we are not we are not doing anything extra we are doing the same thing here also of uh, right for for an input x1 of n for an input x2 of n then you are what you are doing you are calculating the weighted sum of outputs and you are calculating the output due to the weighted sum of inputs here and if this two are equal then it is a linear system otherwise it is not a linear system fine so hope it is clear to you so if you have any doubt or questions you can ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel Thank you.